Robert Connolly is just this prolific filmmaker and I've always sort of been watching his career, seen a lot of his films um, and just been impressed consistently by his ability to sort of tap into the zeitgeist. It's a story about a young woman who returns home to spend time with her mother who is unwell and reflects on her childhood and realises that it was this relationship that she had with a fish when she was a young girl that has inspired her as an activist and as a marine biologist to work in a positive way to deal with these environmental issues that we are currently feeling somewhat overwhelmed by. It's not good news, I'm afraid. Your home's dying and I don't know how to help. The character I played, Dora Jackson, is this amazing kind of heroic single mother who raises this young girl and teaches her all about the ocean and the environment and engages her in this really positive way with her environment. And I just felt like this movie was so aligned with with me and with anything I'd like to say. So often projects you get involved with sort of have messages but they're not necessarily your messages. In this case I felt just very aligned to the material. We had a little bit of training before we began shooting and I'd always been, you know, that was the one thing. I was like, I love this role but I don't know, I'm kind of scared of the water. Really I was, I had a bit of a phobia from an experience I'd had. So this was, aside from everything else, an opportunity to kind of face that fear. There was one shot where I finally, you know, did the dive that I would be like scared of and and I did all the moves and I swam like a butterfly or whatever and then I looked up and there was just like meters and meters of water on top of me and I didn't know if I was going to make it to the top and you do, you have a lot more capacity than you realize and that's, if you're going to call it a sport, that's something that you learn from the sport that you're more amphibian than you realise and just when you think that's the, the limit, there's more. Straight down, follow the chain. Equalise. Okay, just glide. Yeah, all that was a lot on the first week. It was like, okay, you got free dive, you got to like the boat, and you know, and now we're shooting. But then I got into it, and I be discovered that I was a bit of a rev head on the water, which I didn't know. It's nothing. It's nothing like. It's nothing in your way, and the speed of it, and the air, and you know, it's amazing. It's sort of unbelievable like that that's a puppet, that that fish is a puppet because it looks so real. For actors it was, it was great for us because it wasn't just an animated experience so in terms of acting underwater it was sort of easier for us because we, you know, we were just relating to this fish that was in front of us. When you looked up those sequences were shot in the pool but when you got out you could see there's three guys there with these sticks literally just like manipulating this fish to make it look so real. It looks organic. Elsa was an amazing actress, she sort of was, I think it was her first project, but she fully inhabited the role and Rob gave us a lot of liberty when we were shooting so there was a sense of, not that we were making the scenes up, but that we could, we could like play with them and he was comfortable that way, which I think gives you that sense of spontaneity and, and the characters have a kind of freedom to them and a naturalism. Fun's getting started now. Whoa! I think Tim Winton's an amazing writer. I think he reminds us in a subtle way what's important and what we should value. And often it's just the subtlety of relationship um, that he's able to articulate in a really beautiful way. I hope it connects to the whole family, and I think it does. Hopefully it inspires people to get passionate about the cause and to have a kind of sensitivity to the world that they're living in and to participate, however, that they're kind of inspired to do.